Hey everyone, welcome to my 24 week pregnancy bump date. I am feeling big already and I'm only 24 weeks. How long do I have to go? Let's see, 16 more weeks to go. I'm almost out of the second trimester. For some reason, 24 weeks seems big to me. Is it viability? I don't know, but it seems like a big milestone, so. Woohoo, 24 weeks. Anyway, at 24 weeks, I'm on my um, birth center pregnancy app, which is my favorite. So at 24 weeks, the lungs are continuing to grow and develop. Also, the baby is starting to fill out and plump up, which is so fun because I just love baby rolls, even though like usually when they're born, they're pretty skinny. Um, it's not until like a couple months and then they get all that breast milk in and then they're like, or formula and then they're like super plump and cute. Also, the baby has eyebrows now and it, the baby can now work their facial muscles and raise their eyebrows, so that is pretty exciting. So enough about baby, um, how I'm doing. I'm doing okay. I can definitely tell that I'm getting towards the end of the second trimester because it's the days are definitely getting harder for me. It's harder to have energy, it's harder to move around, to bend over. Things are just not as easy and as feel good as they used to be. I don't know if that makes any sense. I definitely feel huge in the belly area. It's hard for me to bend over. I'm already starting to like dread bending over. I try to get the kids to help me as much as I can. Even like going down on the floor and then getting back up. There are some times where I'm just sitting down and I know I need to get up and do something and I just don't want to get up. I don't want to exert that energy. So I'm already feeling that. I'm definitely getting more fatigued as the days go on. Towards the end of the day, I'm just exhausted. I don't want to like do bedtime with the kids. Not that they're super hard, it's just a lot of energy is required to do it. And like I hate doing bath time because I have to like lean over the tub and uh, I don't want to complain this whole vlog, but Things are just getting harder for me. I'm definitely getting more tired, less energy. One day, I, I usually unload the dishwasher, usually in the morning. One day I think I didn't get to unloading the dishwasher until like right before dinner time. I'm just finding less and less energy to do things that I need to do, but that's okay. I frequently have to remind myself to just kind of take it easy especially as I get bigger and the pregnancy goes on to just take my time with things and to give myself grace. So hopefully I can continue to remember to do that. I have the most annoying pregnancy symptom. I don't think I've mentioned it on the vlog and it's been happening for months. And I don't know why, I don't remember this happening with my other pregnancies, but I have the most annoying pregnancy symptom. Let me know down below if you've ever experienced this. Every morning I wake up and it's like within the first half hour of me being up and moving, my nose gets super tingly all of a sudden. Like kind of that tingle you get before you're gonna sneeze, but then I never sneeze. It just like the tingle builds in my nose and then it just like, I don't know, it's just like super tingly for like a couple seconds and then it just goes away. And it only happens once a day in the morning, but it's every single day. And it is so stinking annoying, I hate it. I don't know why that's a pregnancy symptom, but I've never gotten this before without being pregnant, so I'm pretty sure it's a pregnancy symptom and it is very annoying. I wanted to talk about that. Leg cramps have been better. I have not had a leg cramp probably this whole week, so that's been awesome. Headaches have been great. I think I've only taken medicine one day this week and that's it. Heartburn, have not taken heartburn in a while. I've had a couple of nights. I only get it at night right now. And it'll be the type where like I'm already laying in bed and I feel heartburn and I just kind of ignore it and go to sleep. Otherwise, like if I was, if I had energy, I'd probably get up and take a tum, but 
haven't really taken tons, so that's been good too. I've had really weird dreams lately. Definitely, I think it, pregnancy is influencing them. I keep having nightmares, I guess you could say, about like us trying to close on our old house, even though it's happened months ago. I still like have these crazy dreams where like we're trying to clean the house and get all of our stuff out of it and people are trying to move into the house. I don't know, crazy dreams. I've been peeing a lot more. I have to pee all the time. Rarely can I go through the night without having to get up in the middle of the night and pee. I have to do that all the time now, which is a given, especially as I get bigger. I'm still dealing with pregnancy insomnia. Usually when I get up in the middle of the night, I have a hard time going back to sleep. There might be one or two times where I can just fall right back to sleep, but more often than not, I'm just awake and can't fall asleep and then I'm like exhausted the rest of the day. I'm still doing a cup of coffee every day, but lately I've been finding that that's not really helping much. Like the other day I had a cup of coffee and then we were downstairs and the with the kids playing in the basement. And so it had been a couple of hours since I had my cup of coffee and I was like wanting to take a nap. Like that hadn't even, that, that didn't even do anything. So definitely getting tired. I feel out of breath. I don't know if you can like hear it on this vlog, but usually other vlogs, like when I'm moving around, I get super out of breath very easily. So it's already starting to happen. Baby girl is kicking all the time. She is so active, so mobile. Anthony, for the first time, felt her move this week. So that was really special. And he was just shocked at how much he could feel her and how much she was moving. Of course, it was in the evening, which is when she's more active because I'm not like chasing the kids around, I'm just sitting. But her movements have been getting more powerful. Every week, they're more powerful. And um, I always feel the movement so low. I feel like I, in my two previous pregnancies, they weren't so low, but hers are very low. But yeah, she's moving a lot. It's funny, I'll like go throughout my day and every so often I'll be like, huh, I feel like I haven't felt the baby in a while. Like that's kind of weird. And then it's like just me thinking about her, like all of a sudden she just starts moving. It's like we're already <laughs> like in sync or something. So anyway, she's doing great. I have my next doctor's appointment coming up in a couple days. So I will recap that on the next pregnancy bump date. So be sure to tune in for that one. I don't think anything exciting is happening on that appointment. I think it'll just be normal. And so I think it'll go fast. But I think at that next appointment, they will give me the glucose drink to take for when I come back for my 28 week appointment. I know a lot of doctor's offices do it differently. Some make you drink it in the doctor's office and then they make you wait an hour and then take your blood. My doctor's office has always been the same where they give you the drink a month early, you store it in your fridge for weeks, and then you take the drink an hour before your appointment. And then you just show up, tell them what time you took, you drank the drink, and then they know when to draw your blood. It's always been like that for me. I've never had a problem with it. I've never had gestational diabetes before, so I'm not expecting to have it, but I know every pregnancy is different, so we will see. Also, I know a lot of people complain about the glucose drink. They say it's nasty. A lot of people want to throw it up. I think it tastes great. I like sugary stuff, so it really doesn't bother me. I've had no negative side effects to it. I could drink more of those. Like, it's not as bad as, I, I feel like, not to be mean, but I do feel like some people are dramatic with it because it's really not that bad. I have noticed my back has been hurting a lot more and this has been a reoccurring theme in my previous pregnancies. I think most pregnant women deal with back pain. I mean, if you think about it, you've got this large mass growing in the front side of your body and your back is just having to support it as it grows bigger and heavier. So of course your back is gonna start like having issues and I'm just now starting to notice it. I have a hard time being comfortable sitting. Uh, I usually have to prop my back with a pillow and even then sometimes that doesn't help. In my previous two pregnancies, I've worn a belly band and I'm almost positive. I'm gonna have to start wearing it soon for this one. And I find that it really does help my back. They sell it in the stores. I think I got mine off of Amazon. And it's basically a band that just Velcro wraps around you. You can put it on the outside, you can put it under clothes. And it just lifts your belly and kind of puts that strain off your back. 
I've found a lot of success with it. So I definitely see that coming soon in my future. But I think that's about it for this week. I guess a little more symptoms, just kind of coming off that pregnancy happiness of the second trimester and getting more into the nitty gritty of the third trimester. I know I'm not there yet. I think it starts at like 27 weeks, 28 weeks, somewhere around there. But so I'm, I'm pretty close and I'm feeling, I just feel huge. I feel very large and it's already getting hard to like move around, especially with the kids. But thankfully my kids are a little older, a little more mobile. They can help me pick things up, get things that I need. It's when my two-year-old, who's in his terrible twos, is like having a meltdown and I have to bend and pick him up. Or when he's running away from me and I have to chase him when I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> so anyway, all good things though. This baby is worth it. But anyway, I think I'm gonna close up the vlog. Like I said, make sure to stay tuned for my next update because I will go to the doctor, get an update on baby's heartbeat and how I'm measuring. I'm pretty sure now that I've done my anatomy scan that they're gonna start measuring my fundal height. For some reason, I thought they started like from the very beginning. And now as I'm, I like went back and watched some of my um, pregnancy updates and now I'm realizing like, oh, they don't start until like after the 20 weeks, which makes sense. Like your belly's big enough now. So it'll be interesting to see how I'm measuring. With my previous two kids, I've always measured like right on, right on target. Never been above, never been below. So we'll see how baby girl is measuring next week when I go. So make sure to stay tuned, make sure to like, subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions I can answer down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.